Have you ever considered the weight a single chess move could carry? This isn't your typical game of chess, this is an epic showdown between two high-profile figures, Barack Obama and Kim Jong-un. Two men, one board, and a game that could change the course of history. Picture this. A room filled with tension. The only sounds are the ticking of the clock, and the soft clink of chess pieces on the board. On one side we have Barack Obama, the former US president. A man known for his strategic finesse, his prize, a bucket of KFC. Simple perhaps, but a reward that brings him immense joy. On the other side we have Kim Jong-un, the North Korean leader. His prize? The power to nuke a country. Yes, you heard it right, the stakes couldn't be higher. Now let's take a step back. This isn't their first game. They've been at this for a while. And so far the scoreboard has been leaning heavily in Barack's favor. He's been playing the game with the precision of a surgeon, maneuvering his pieces with a quiet confidence that only comes from experience. And with each win, he's been happily munching away on his KFC, relishing his victories with every bite. But let's not forget about Kim. He's been on the losing end, yes, but there's a fire in his eyes. He's eager to turn the tide to claim his prize. And let's not forget, his prize isn't just any ordinary reward. It's the power to nuke a country. A chilling thought, isn't it? So here they are, locked in this high-stakes game. Barack, with his calm demeanor and strategic mind against Kim, with his fiery determination and potentially world-altering prize. It's a thrilling matchup, one that keeps you on the edge of your seat, anxiously waiting for the next move. But what happens when the underdog rises? What if the tables turn? In the game of chess, one wrong move can change everything. And so it was in this epic showdown between two unlikely opponents. The tension was palpable, the stakes higher than a skyscraper, and the world watched with bated breath as the game unfolded. The game was a symphony of strategy and wit, a dance of the minds. Barack the seasoned veteran had been leading the game, his moves as smooth as silk and as sharp as a razor's edge. He had tasted victory multiple times, relishing the crispy, savory spoils of his triumph, but then, the winds of fortune began to shift. Kim the underdog started to claw his way back, his moves, at first seemingly erratic, started to form a pattern, a strategy that was as intricate as it was unexpected. He was like a phoenix rising from the ashes, his determination unwavering, his focus unbreakable. The chessboard, once dominated by Barack, was now a battlefield, and Kim was gaining ground. Each move Kim made sent ripples of shock through the onlookers. Was this really happening? Could Kim actually turn the game around? The suspense was like a coiled spring, ready to explode at any moment. And then, in a move that left everyone stunned, Kim cornered Barack's king. The room fell silent, the only sound being the soft click of the chess piece as it settled into its new position. The shock was palpable, the realization sinking in, Kim had won. He had come from behind and snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. The world watched, stunned, as the underdog emerged victorious. The scent of KFC lingered in the air, a stark reminder of victories past. But this was a new game, a new victor. The chessboard, once a battlefield, was now a testament to Kim's unexpected victory. In a shocking turn of events, Kim emerges victorious. But what does this mean for the world? With great power comes great responsibility, or so they say. Imagine this, a chess game with stakes so high, it could change the face of the world. Kim, the underdog, finally clinches a victory. But this isn't a victory to be celebrated with champagne or applause. This victory gives him a power no one man should wield, the power to unleash destruction on an unimaginable scale. Kim sits there, the weight of his decision pressing heavily upon him. He's won the game, but at what cost? His prize, a missile launch button lies before him. The target? Mexico. The enormity of his impending decision could be felt in the air, a tangible tension that settled over the room like a shroud. The room is silent, the world outside oblivious to the monumental event unfolding within these four walls. The clock on the wall ticks on, each second echoing ominously, a reminder of the ticking time bomb that is his decision. He contemplates, his hand hovering over the button, he could back down, he could walk away, but would it be a victory then? A victory without a prize? Or would it be a defeat? A surrender to the moral compass that screamed at him to stop? He wrestles with these thoughts, his mind a battleground of morality and ego. The gravity of his decision is not lost on him. He is about to make a choice that could alter the course of history, a choice that would forever brand him either a villain or a victor. The world outside continues to spin, oblivious to the threat looming over it. The sun shines, the wind blows, life carries on as usual. But inside this room, time seems to stand still. Finally, the moment of truth arrives. His hand, once wavering now steady, presses down on the button. 
The button is pushed, the missile is launched, but where will it land? Sometimes the best laid plans go awry. It's an old saying, but it's never been more relevant than this moment. Like a scene from a dystopian novel, the unthinkable has happened. Kim, the underdog in this high-stakes game of chess, finally savors victory. But his triumph doesn't spell joy for everyone. His prize? The power to nuke a country of his choosing. Mexico was the intended target, a decision that stirred controversy and dread. But as fate would have it, a misstep occurred. Instead of a single target, the entire world found itself in the crosshairs. Imagine the shock that rippled across the globe. The disbelief, the panic, the regret. It was a miscalculation of epic proportions, a blunder that would rewrite history. A chess game, a bucket of KFC, and a nuclear button. These were the tools that led to our downfall. The world held its breath as the button was pushed and the nukes were launched. Time seemed to slow as the missiles soared across the sky, their trajectory painting a grim picture of the impending doom. The anticipation was unbearable, the silence deafening. And then, the world as we knew it, ceased to exist. In an instant cities crumbled, oceans boiled and mountains melted. The sky turned a fiery orange, then a chilling black. The air was filled with the screams of billions, then a deafening silence fell. It was the sound of the world ending. The sound of humanity's final chapter, the devastation was absolute. The world once filled with life and vibrancy was now a barren wasteland. The structures that once touched the sky were now mere rubble. The bustling streets were now empty echoes of a time that once was. It was the end of civilization, the end of everything we knew and held dear. In a twist of fate the world is gone but what if anything remains? It's a chilling question, one that echoes in the silence of this post-apocalyptic world. What is left after the dust settles, after the echoes of the explosion fade into the void? The answer to that question is the final piece of this epic tale. In the face of destruction, life finds a way. In the midst of the rubble and the ruins where once stood towering skyscrapers and bustling city streets, now lies only silence and desolation. Yet, amidst this post-apocalyptic landscape, a solitary figure emerges, a small, unassuming creature but one that carries with it the weight of the world. Our lone survivor, a single frog. This frog of average size and ordinary green hue might have once hopped unnoticed through the undergrowth just another creature in the grand tapestry of life. But now it stands alone, a beacon of survival in a world stripped of life. It's not the size, the color or even the species that makes this frog remarkable. It's the sheer resilience, the unwavering spirit of survival that it embodies. In this desolate world, the frog finds its way, hopping over fallen debris, navigating through the ashes of what once was. Its eyes, two small, gleaming orbs, reflect the stark reality of its surroundings, but also hold a glimmer of hope. It is a testament to life's tenacity, to the indomitable will of nature to persevere, to continue, to thrive. It is not the chess games, the victories or the defeats, the KFC buckets or the nuclear buttons that define our world. It is the resilience, the ability to survive, to adapt, to rise from the ashes and build anew. In the face of overwhelming odds, life in all its forms finds a way to endure. Today, that form is a single frog, navigating the ruins of a world that once was, carrying the weight of the future on its small, capable shoulders. From the ashes of the old world, a new one begins. With a single frog, the game of life continues.